Hey YouTube, Matt and Roy back again. Well, got another computer video for you. This is uh, the third system in the lot that I got from um, somebody that I was doing work for. Uh, the other two were that uh, Toshiba, the newer Toshiba one, that was, laptop that was a piece of junk, and then that Sony Vio. This one is much, much older though. This, this is probably from around 2001. You can see it's another Toshiba, and it is a satellite, but it's rocking a Intel Celeron 900 megahertz uh, processor, so it's based on the Pentium 3 chip. Uh, designed for Windows XP, it actually does have Windows XP on it. There's the power button, some of the uh, quick function buttons. I would say this is about a 13 inch screen, and it is definitely uh, active matrix, but it's it's definitely not as good a quality as that other Toshiba screen down here we have some uh, quick play buttons this is to play your uh, music when the computer's not on so you got the power there um, rewind play pause stop and then fast forward this was actually very popular back during this time people before mp3 players got really popular people would actually use their laptops to play their CDs <laughs> believe it or not on the front here we have the two speakers an actual three and a quarter inch floppy drive so yeah this you could tell this is a really nice old system um, I'm sorry these are actually the speakers up here one and two this is kinda I think to give air kinda like a miniature bass tube on the side here we have uh, the battery either the battery or the hard drive I'm not sure what that is let's see uh, hard drive. That's where the hard drive sits. We have a uh, modem, uh, built-in DVD-ROM, and CD drive. So no burning capabilities here. Let me unplug all this so you can see what we got on the back. On the back here we have your power port, Ethernet, uh, combination um, PS2 keyboard and mouse, uh, it looks like a uh, composite video out. Uh, we actually have an infrared port, uh, mic and headphone jack, two USB 2.0 ports. They are 2.0, so this is at least from 2002. Um, got VGA, serial, and parallel. Then on the other side, you have your Kensington lock port. Uh, heating grate, uh, uh, cooling grate to pull the heat in, or heat out actually. Two PC card slots, uh, these are 2.0 I believe. And right here is where the battery sits. You also have a little volume uh, knob here. Well, Toshiba really likes to do that. It's kind of convenient, but they don't always work the best. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in mouse because again you guys know I do not like using track pads like that plug in the uh, power because I have not confirmed the battery and this is good or bad so why take a chance and let's go ahead and boot it up no smoke test on this one because I have booted this up before See if I can move this away. There we go. And you can see it's rocking Windows XP. It doesn't fill up the entire screen. Uh, that's very typical of uh, computers, laptops like pre 2003. Um, they don't really load the driver until Windows totally loads. And it is pretty slow. This is still rocking the original uh, Windows XP installation, which I will be getting rid of. Um, I haven't really made any long-term plans for this computer yet. I might put Windows 2000 on here and turn this into like a Windows 2000 uh, gaming system. Um, but I need to do the diagnostic first. I want to make sure the hard drive is still decent. I mean, I'm sure as old as this computer is, the hard drive does have some wear on it, but 
want to make sure it's just not going to die the second I load Windows 2000 on it. It is very slow coming up, guys. Tell you what, I will be back once this is totally loaded up. And we're back. It's pretty much loaded everything, so let's go ahead into uh, my computer and I'll show you what this actually has. Again, it is still very slow. The very next thing is this operating system has got to go. For a computer like this, XP is sufficient, but you know, I think Windows 2000 would definitely do this system more justice. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting uh, wallpaper on the back there. Kind of reminds me of Animal Farm. You got the skyscrapers in the background. It's really neat. I'm going to have to try to maybe save that. Wow, yeah, you can see this hard drive is really struggling. Take a look at that light. It's basically solid the whole time. <laughs> well, that's loading. I'll go ahead and show you guys the model number. Um, it's right under here. This is a, you could pause this if you want to read it further. This is a Toshiba 1805-S204. I guess back then they kind of reversed it. Today it would be like an S204-1805. Really interesting. Got some uh, Chinese stickers. It's actually got a Best Buy sticker on the bottom. Looks like back in 2004 uh, Best Buy did some work on this. So wonder if that's probably where this came from. Menu finally came up. One of properties. So you can see it's still trying to load some of the things on the bottom. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is actually rocking Kaspersky and AVG. No wonder this thing is slow as can be two antiviruses that take a lot of resources to run. I guess we'll look at the video card first. I haven't done that myself. This is a Trident. Oh my gosh. Trident Video Accelerator Cyberblade XPAI1. I have never even heard of that. I thought Trident video cards went with DOS. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see what kind of uh, RAM this thing, this video card has. That is shocking. And she is still super slow. So it has a 16 megabyte video card. You know, this really would be ideal for a uh, Windows 98, Windows 2000 era gaming machine. Um, my DOS machine actually is have, rocks a Trident um, 4 megabyte card, and that was fantastic for games. So it looks more and more like I'm going to be turning this into a Windows 2000 or, or Windows 98 machine. Let's go ahead and close this out. Here's the information on it. It's a Toshiba satellite with the Intel Celeron. Uh, it's a 1 gigahertz processor, so 995 megahertz, and Windows never um, reports the full 1 gigahertz. It actually has 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, 496 is after the video card has taken its uh, 16 megabytes or so. But um, that is really interesting. L let me show you guys something else really cool about this laptop. <laughs> Well, maybe not too cool. It's something that I'm probably going to need to upgrade is the hard drive. Take a look at this. That is a 20 gigabyte hard drive. Now, for a laptop this old, I, I, I would have thought maybe at least 30, but I guess because it's running a Celeron processor, um, it's probably a, was a lower end system when it was new. Um, so that's about it for this Toshiba. I don't want to really show anything in the operating system because it still has the other old person's data on it. Um, I guess we can see real quick what uh, programs they were running. Um, America Online Instant Messenger, 
AVG driver guide tool kit. Yeah, I've used that once in a while in the past, but that tends to let in some malware. Uh, InterVideo Win DVD4, I remember that from back in the day. Good old Juno dial up. Wow. <laughs> I used that for a little while back in the 90s, but then I switched to Net Zero. Microsoft Office. I wonder what version of Office this is running. It's really hard to do this with the camera. Uh, 2003. Wow. Let's see how fast that loads it up. Kind of a new version of uh, Office for this computer. Yeah, that's about what I figured. It's pretty slow. <laughs> I do like this version. I remember using this when I was back in college. It was really easy to use. Not like when they came out with 2007. It was a vastly different style. They put all the menus under that one like start icon. Really couldn't stand that. Um, let's see what else she has on here. Um, uh, Netgear. Probably had a wireless card in it at one time. Driver pad, pop cap games. I wonder what that is. Never heard of it. Bookworm Deluxe. Quick time. Sonic Stage for um, Sony. They, I, I used to use that with my uh, mini disc. That might have been what she was using it for. Tetris Worlds. Have that. It's an excellent game. And then just a bunch of Toshiba utilities. I might have to try to keep some of these games before I wipe the hard drive. I definitely want to try and get that wallpaper backed up. Um, but other than that, I mean, this laptop is in fairly good condition. It's got some wear. You can see where the paint has come off over the years from excess use, I guess, because they would rest their palms on it like that. Um, the space bar does have some shininess, like, right there. But not too bad. Not not as bad as I would uh, would have thought for a system of this age. And then the enter key is almost perfect. I'm surprised because that's usually the other one. Um, as B Bishop says, that and the space bar tend to get shiny after a while because that's those are the ones that are used the most. Uh, the A key has some shininess to it. The A S D N F key does. So you can tell somebody was a professional typist. They probably had their fingers on those keys constantly. So anyway, that was a review of this uh, Toshiba laptop. Um, I'm probably making another video once I have Windows 2000 installed. And until next time, have a blessed day, everybody.